all right then welcome back everyone so let's start with thousand rated questions now there's only one prerequisite before you start this playlist uh, either you have completed 800 and 900 rated questions or you are able to solve div 2 a's div 3 a b's right so the first question of div 2 uh, a div 2 should be you should be comfortable with and div 3 first two questions you should be comfortable with before starting out this series okay because there will be a lot of fundamental ideas uh, that you require in 800 or 900 rated questions or basically due to a's and due three a's that i'll use here so expect that you know this fundamental ideas okay and that was about the prerequisite so let's start this playlist on a very high note the question name is a uh, swap and delete i hope you've read the question once but i'll quickly summarize the question for you we are given a binary string of binary string means only contains characters 0 and 1 we can only perform two operation uh let's say this is a string so we can only perform two operation either a move around characters let's say like swapping basically either a uh, swap these two guys something like this so either move around the characters in the string or delete some character let's say i try to i try to de delete this character only two operations are there but the important thing is uh swapping is free this is free it's this you might have observed swapping the character doesn't cost you anything right so you can move around the characters any way you want right fine and deleting a character costs one coin now what we want effectively what we want to do effectively is in the end we want to get the string t get the string t from uh s by how by either uh, swapping or moving around the characters in the string or deleting the characters from the string such that the corresponding element should not be seen for example what i'm saying is see let's say this is uh, my string s you can see there are uh, two ones here and there are two zeros here so maybe uh t i can be uh one of the i'm just uh, writing all the possible combinations of t so t is uh, such that the corresponding characters in t and s are not seen so zero one zero one right so of course this distribution cannot change uh like either you can delete the characters so one of the possible can be like this also so if let's say this was your s this can be your t right this can be your t so what i did is i just deleted this one and uh, moved around zero and one right so this one zero is converted to zero one swapped it basically right so swapping you can now one thing that clearly got my attention is swapping is free so how do you what is the other way to look at swapping rearranging the elements right rearranging the elements any way you want such that the corresponding characters are not seen is free so that's what i'll try to do right so i'll try not to delete uh, but what i'll do is uh, this is s right so i'll just take an example uh, from code forces itself so what i'll try to do is uh, i can rearrange the elements freely right i have option i have that liberty without any cost right i want to minimize the cost so what i'll try to do is i'll try to rearrange the elements such that the corresponding guys that is s1 uh, s1 and t1 is not same s2 and t2 is not same s3 and t3 is not same so what i'm saying is guys in other ways for every one in s i'll try to get a zero right i'll try to bring zero i'll try to put uh, for this one i'll try to put zero here and for every zero in s i'll try to put one right so for every one in s I'll try to put the other character, right? So for one, I'll try to put zero. For zero, I'll try to put one. How am I how am I gonna do it? I'm gonna rearrange, right? I'm gonna bring like if I want to put a one here, what I'll do is I'll bring one from somewhere and put it here, right? I want to construct T such that the corresponding characters are not seen, right? That's what I want to do. Okay, fine. So what I want is I want to put zero for every one and one for every zero, right? So that's what I need to do. So how can I achieve that? We can think about the code afterwards, but uh, what do we need here uh, to figure out? Uh, whether you can put a one for every zero and zero for every one of course you need a way to know how many ones and zeros you have right so you need to count basically and right? you need a ones count and you need zeros count how many ones and zeros you have and right? that's uh, that's when you will be able to know whether i have a zero or not whether i have a one or not right see what i'm saying is if you want to put a one here you need to know if you have a one or not right so let's just count it then we'll do a dry run so how many ones are there here uh, ones are five and zeros are also five uh, you can count it for yourself fine let's see i'll come at this zero to zero i'll try to put one do i have a one yes i have a one i have five ones available right so i'll pick anyone uh, i'll perform actually swapping okay I'll, i can pick anyone doesn't really matter without loss of centrality let's just pick any one of them so now i have only four ones so i'll pick any one and put it here now i move ahead okay now i move ahead now and now i only have four ones right? why because i used it here right i used one one here fine so let's move ahead uh, let's complete the iron so for this one i want a zero do i have a zero yes i have zero i have five zeros so let's make it four and put a zero here let's move ahead to zero now what i need here I want a one here. Do I have a one? Yes, I have one. I have four ones available, right? I only use one, one, and one zero. So I have four ones still available. Okay. Now I don't think in terms of like what swap have what swaps happen. Some swap happened, right? In the end, our ultimate aim is the corresponding characters of S and T should not be same, right? So it doesn't really matter how I am swapping it. Like in place of this zero, which one I am bringing, and this place in place of this one, which zero I am bringing. But we are bringing some. Okay. So that's not important. Really important here. And the main takeaway is for zero there should be one, for one there should be zero. That's the main takeaway. Okay. You don't think anything more than that. Fine. So we are here, where are we? We are at zero, right? So what I want, I want a one. Do I have a one? Yes, I have. Right? I only use one, one, and one zero. So I have one available. So I'll make this three. I'll make this three, and I'll use a one here. Right? So I've used uh, two ones. That's why I only have three ones remaining. Fine. Let's move ahead. Uh, for now, we have one. I need a zero here. Do I have a zero? Yes, I have uh, four zeros available because I only use one zero here, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll use a zero. Three zeros available now. Zero here. Fine. Let's move ahead. 
Do I have a zero? Yes, I have a zero. So I'll replace it with two. Go here, right? Why? See, we have used three zeros, right? We had total five zeros. We used three zeros, so now only have two zeros remaining. Fine. Let's move ahead. Uh, one again, right? One again. I need a zero. Do I have a zero? Yes, I have two zeros available. I only use three zeros, right? So I'll make it one and put a zero here, right? So I only have now one zero available, right? We have used four zeros. Now for this zero, for this zero, okay, we are moving next. For this zero, I need a one. Do I have a one? Yes, I have three ones available. I only use two ones, right? Yeah, okay, I'll use it. I'll make this two and one here. Fine. Let's move ahead. For the zero, what I need? I need one. Uh, do I have one? Yes, I have one. I have two ones available. Okay, I'll put one here. Fine. Let's move ahead. For the zero, I need a one. Do I have one? Yes, I have, I used four ones. I still have one one remaining. I can put a one here. Right. So now I don't have any ones. Now I don't have any ones. Fine. And uh, we are here. Right. We are here. Now I need a zero here. Right. I need a zero here. Do I have a zero? Yes, I have one zero available. I use. I only used uh, four zeros. Right. Fine. So I'll use a zero here. Done. So we have reached uh, the end of the loop. We are at the end of the loop. Right. That was just dry run, so I was just thinking about the approach. Okay, I don't I have not thought about the code right now. Let's take one more example, uh, then we can think about the code. Fine. So this is S, right? This is S. What I try to do for every one, I try to put zero. For every zero, I try to put one. So for that, I need a count, right? So first count how many ones are there? How many ones are there? One, two, three, four. Four ones are there. How many zeros are there? Zero is one, two. So there are two zeros. Fine. Let's try to make T. Okay. Don't think about what swaps you are making. Just think about uh, whether you have available one or zero to put, right? Because in the end, uh, this T needs to differ from this S, right? That's why I'm not uh, performing any swaps here, otherwise I'll be confused what actually swap is happening. Because in the end, this T needs to differ by this original S, right? If I perform swaps here, then you'll be confused. <laughs> that's why I'm not making this swap intentionally. Because that frankly doesn't matter. What matters in the end is the corresponding characters here are different. That's what matters. Fine. T here. Okay, fine. Let's try it. For this one, I want a zero. Do I have a zero? Yes, I have two zeros available. So I'll make it one and put a zero here. Do I have a zero available? Yes, I have a zero available. I have a zero available. So I'll pick it. Okay, I'll pick a zero. Done. Right. So now, okay. Uh, so finally, now we are here, right? So we put two zeros here and now uh, we are this third one. But do we have any more zeros available? Right. We don't have any zeros available, right? We, have, we only had two zeros and we used it. We only had two zeros and we used it. Now, no matter what I try, no matter uh, how I try, I'm not able to uh, put uh, something here such that uh, TI, TI is different from SI. So specifically here, I don't have any element which I can put in place of T3 such that it will differ from S3, right? So if I write the indices here, it will be clear. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So what I did is, for first one, I placed a 0. For second one, I placed a 0. But for the third one, I don't have any zeros remaining. So I cannot put anything else, right? So in this case, uh, what will be my answer? These characters have to be removed. These characters anyway have to be removed. And what are these characters? These are 1, 2, 3, 4 characters. So how did this 4 came? Uh, if I prefer, if I write a 0 based indexing, it will make much more sense. Let's say we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Now we matched two characters and now we are at the second index. And now from this point, we cannot match. So how many characters remain? One, two, three, four. So how did this four came? Uh, I guess you can guess it. It's simply six minus two, four. Okay. Uh, let's think about the code now. Uh, you'll get it. I'll do one more time dry run and then you'll get it. Don't worry. So yeah, let me just uh, come here only. Fine. So let me just write down the indices. So it will make much more sense for me. Okay. The code will be very simple. Actually, nothing is there. The point is uh, the main catch was you can rearrange the elements any way you want and you'll for every one you try to put zero for every zero try to put one right so eight nine fine so what i did is uh uh you know that for this zero okay so let's start again so we have five ones and five zeros right so for this zero i can put a one for this one i can put a zero for this guy i can put so basically the entire string you can write so for you have five ones and five zeros so you were able to put everything right one zero zero one 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 zero and eventually uh your pointer came here so this index would be what? This would be 10, right? So this index would be 10. So what is your answer? Your answer is zero. You, didn't, you need not remove any elements. So your answer was, uh, your answer was here zero. Okay. Now let's see uh, the second example. Uh, so I'll just write the indices here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. And initially you had zero, uh, like two zeros and four ones. Right. So you'll put a zero here. You'll put a zero here. So the zeros will become zero. And now at this point, at this point, now your pointer is here, right? So you'll try to put a zero here, but you're not able to put it. Right, so at this point, you can maybe break out of the loop, right? Of course, you are saying I have to run a loop from i equals to uh, 0 till n minus 1, right? That's what you have to do. At this point, I'm not able to put anything, right? So here, you'll have to break. And what is your answer here? Uh, the answer here, the answer is uh, the four characters remain. How did this four came? The string length was here 6, right? So here, string length was uh, 6. So the answer is here, uh, what? 6 minus, we are at index 2. So 6 minus 2, 4 is the answer. Right. And here also, if you see, since we matched all the characters, we were at index, okay, uh, we were at index 10. So this 10 came, this 10 came by 10 minus 10, 0. Right. So yeah, this was a very simple question, frankly, uh, 
If I want to summarize this question, try to put one for every zero and zero for every one. And when you cannot do it, when you cannot do it, uh, you have the character. When you when you cannot do it, your index, your basically pointer will point to the index which is equal to number of characters that you have matched. Right. So after you have matched all the characters, that is what I'm saying is after you have put the corresponding uh, zeros for ones and ones for zeros, your pointer will stop exactly at the index equal to how many number of characters you have matched. Right. Here the pointer stopped at ten because you have matched all the ten characters. Here the pointer stopped at two. That means you have matched two characters. So how many characters remain? The characters remain is simply uh, string length s minus uh, wherever your pointer stopped. Right? That's what it is. Right. So let's just quickly code it up. Okay, guys. So let's quickly code up the solution. The code will be very simple. So I've taken the input and uh, now let's just find out the length of the string first. Uh, okay. I just, because we have to run a loop in the end, right? So fine. So let's just count the ones. So I'll use the STL only here. Count and uh, I'll use this uh, right like this. Okay. So this all is nothing. I'll just refine a type definition. Uh, it's a type definition for s dot begin and s dot end. Okay. I'm just uh, introducing new shortcuts as we move on to the playlist because I want to save time as much as possible. Right. So once I've counted and zeros will be what? It will be simply n minus ones, right? Zeros uh, like how many number zeros and of course n minus n minus ones will be number of zeros, right? Okay. It should be one here, right? So ones will be stored in ones and zeros will be simply n minus one. Right. So this is fine. So there's nothing much here. Now let's uh, run a loop. Let's uh, run a loop here. So maybe I can define index i equals to zero here and then uh, index i and then i equals to zero, i less than n, i plus plus, right? That's what I did. Why I defined i here is because I need the final, like I need the point where this i stops, right? Because it depends on answer. Because in there, answer is what? Our answer is n minus i, right? So I will finally point to once we have put zeros in place of ones and ones in place of zeros, I will finally point to number of characters that we have matched, right? So n minus one, i follow a new line. So if i points to the number of characters we have matched, the characters that you have to remove is simply n minus i, right? So let's see here what we need to do. Now, first things first, if s of i is equal equals to zero, what does it mean? You need a one here, right? You need a one. You need to put a one here. So what you need, what you can do is, if you have one available, if you have one available, fine, just put a one here. I can just decrement the one here, right? But if you don't have one available, you can break. Fine, nothing much. Else, so this is the case when uh, s of i is one, right? So if I can write here, this is the case where s of i is one. So now what you need, you need a zero, right? You need a zero. So if zeros are greater than zero, you can uh, reduce zeros like this. Else, break. You don't have a zero available, right? So else you can break. Fine. So this should be it. And that's the code. Uh, what did it is? I, I went from starting till end and I'll try to put zeros in place of ones and ones in place of zeros. And once we are not able to match this index, this i will point to the index uh, which will be equal to number of characters match. So our answer will be n minus i. This many characters we have to remove. Right? Fine. So then just quickly run it. 1104. Yeah, I hope I think this is the answer. Let me just quickly submit it. Yeah, it works. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.